win a set of rescue recovery boards. Subscribe to the Quadratech YouTube channel and leave a comment down below. Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Welcome to another episode of the Quadratech Academy, where we go over different tips and tricks for working on your vehicle and how to cover some routine maintenance. Today, we're talking about an oil change on your 4xe Wrangler equipped with that 2 liter turbo engine. Now, of course, my Wrangler behind me looks a little bit different. I've got our JTE conversion that we did for the SEMA show back here, but as far as the engine and drivetrain goes, it's still that factory 4xe drivetrain with that 2 liter turbo engine. So all the steps I'm gonna do today are gonna to match exactly what you're gonna be doing right at home in your driveway or in your garage. There's really not a lot of special tools required to do this job. And even though Jeep has packed a ton of high tech into that 4xe Wrangler, well, the oil change is still pretty basic and I know I have all the confidence that you out there can take care of this job right at home. And of course, when you do that job, it's gonna give you some more confidence at taking care of your own vehicle. Of course, it's gonna help make you a little more familiar with your vehicle, with all the parts on it, so that if you are out on the trails, off-roading, on an adventure and something comes up, well, chances are you're probably gonna be a little more familiar with your Jeep. So I suggest if you've never done it before, go ahead, tackle that oil change, it really is an easy job. Now I've got everything laid out on the table here to go over what we need to accomplish this. The best place to reference what you're gonna need is always right there in your owner's manual. You can flip through here and see just how much and what type of oil is required for your specific engine and the requirements that that oil needs to meet to keep your Jeep under warranty and keep everything protected. Why don't we run through exactly what I have on the table here. Of course, I've got an oil filter here, a new oil filter. And as you can see, Jeep even went back to a traditional style oil filter instead of that cartridge style that is found on the 3.6 liter V6. So we've got a regular spin on oil filter here for our two liter engine. We're using a Mopar MO339 oil filter. You're also gonna need a couple hand tools. Again, like I said, nothing very specific here or nothing too specialized. We've got a 13 millimeter socket and a socket wrench. We're gonna use that to get the drain plug out. You're also gonna need an oil filter wrench to give you some assistance at spinning that old filter off the engine. Of course, you're gonna need a drain pan and some gloves and shop towels or rags are gonna come in handy at keeping your hands protected from the oil and helping you clean up from the job. Now you're also gonna need five quarts of full synthetic 5W30 oil. Now you can use oil straight from the dealership, from Mopar, or something that you can pick up off the shelf of your local auto parts store. The important thing here is that you wanna make sure that it meets the GF6A API SP requirement. You can look for that right on the back of the oil and that same specification is what's gonna be noted right there in your owner's manual. So now that we've got all that out of the way, we can go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and pop the hood on our Wrangler so that we can spin off the oil fill cap. Now with that out of the way, we can move down underneath of the Jeep. The great thing about doing an oil change on your Wrangler even if it's at factory ride height, chances are you can probably slide right under it without the need for any jacks or vehicle lifts. Once you're under the Jeep, slide your drain pan into place, grab that 13 millimeter socket and your socket wrench so that we can remove the drain bolt and then go ahead and let the oil drain for a moment. This time we can go ahead and spin off the old oil filter if it's on there a little tight, go ahead and grab that oil filter wrench to help you loosen it up. It can be helpful to let a little bit of oil drain out of there for a moment before you spin it all the way off. Once that settles down, we can pull the oil filter off and dump the rest of the oil into the pan. Now at this point, while the rest of our oil is dripping from the pan, we can go ahead and get our new filter ready to be installed. It's important that we lubricate the rubber O-ring or the gasket that's here on our oil filter. It's gonna do a couple things for us. It's gonna prevent it from drying out to help prevent oil leaks. And it's also gonna prevent it from getting stuck to the engine block, which means the next oil change you have, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get that filter back off. So go ahead and crack open our fresh oil here. Just need a little bit on our finger. And we can run that right around that rubber gasket on the oil filter. Now we can go ahead and move back down under the Jeep and go ahead and spin that new oil filter onto the engine. Once it's tightened up, go ahead and grab it and give it another quarter to a half a turn. Now you can use your oil filter wrench, but 
With a pair of rubber gloves on your hands, it should give you enough grip to sufficiently tighten that oil filter with, and prevent the chance of any leaks. Go ahead and grab your drain bolt, reinstall that into the drain pan, again, with that 13 millimeter socket and your wrench, tighten that up. Again, a good firm push with your hand is gonna get that bolt plenty tight to prevent the chance of any leaks. Now we can move back up under the hood of the Jeep so that we can start filling the engine with some fresh oil. Now, while the fill port here is pretty large on top of our engine, still comes in handy if you use a funnel to help prevent any drips or spilling of any oil here in the engine bay. Now, remember, you do need to use 5W30 full synthetic oil when you're refilling your two liter turbo engine, and it is gonna take five quarts. So a five quart jug makes that a very simple process. Go ahead and crack that open. I've got a rag handy just in case we drip any oil. We can go ahead and just start filling that back up. Now, while this is filling up, remember there is one other step. You are gonna have to go ahead and reset that oil life indicator on the dashboard that lets you know when it's time to complete your oil change. That's a very simple process. Just go ahead and sit in the driver's seat once you're finished filling your engine with those five quarts of oil. Turn the ignition to the on run position without starting the engine. Go ahead and toggle down to the second info screen on your EVIC menu and page over until you see the oil life indicator. Go ahead and hold the OK button on the steering wheel until it resets, giving you the indication that it's back to 100% oil life. And again, that system is gonna go ahead and monitor the driving style and alert you when it's time to complete your next oil change. At this point, the only thing left to do is go ahead and finish filling our engine with those five quarts of oil. And then it's always a good idea to go ahead and pull that dipstick out and confirm that you are at the appropriate level of oil once you've got it filled back up. This is also a great time to go ahead and replace your engine's air filter as well as your cabin air filter. Now, if you have any questions or are wondering how to complete those jobs, you can click the info button to watch the videos I've made showing you step-by-step -step how to replace your engine air filter as well as your cabin air filter. So both your engine and you and your passengers can breathe a little bit easier. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions about how to complete an oil change on your 4xe Wrangler equipped with that two liter turbo engine, you can always leave this for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already, you like these videos, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon. So be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.